So great to get back in the saddle after spending 34 years on the install side to get in a piece of equipment is a real treat for me. I do get the opportunity here at our training facility. And again, we've partnered with Mechalac and the Russo Heavy Equipment, which is phenomenal. So I have this piece of equipment here at our training facility for anybody who wants to come operate the machine, try out the tools, couple the, the uh, Mechalac to our clamps or any of our suction equipment. So phenomenal use. But many of you know I'm an advocate of take, do the research, get the right piece of equipment, right tool for the right job. And that's really what we did even on our hardscape business. So we have the next size up from this. We have an eight on our hardscape uh, business. And yeah, we did some research as to what the best equipment is. And those of you who aren't familiar with Mechalac, this is a really unique machine. It's a hybrid machine, so it's really an excavator and a skid steer combined. So as you saw in the beginning video there, me operating it, I was running it in excavator mode. So I'm running my controls just like I would an excavator. My travel is on my feet, forward, backwards. Very unique because on the front of this, coupled to it is a seven foot bucket. So very unique for an excavator, that's unheard of. But this machine is overbuilt as far as stability and um, obviously all the hydraulics and whatnot. And it's made to handle a seven foot bucket on the end of your excavator stick. So it makes it very unique. You can do your digging out in front of you. You can spin your turret around, load trucks from the back without ever having to do all the skidding motion that you find. And again, when you start doing a lot of movement on your, on your sub base, you're pumping up water. So if you're in wet times, that's something you don't want to do. With this machine, you can sit in one place, you can dig, spin around, dump into your truck to load out. Um, a lot of unique capabilities. Forks can couple to this. And the unique thing about this is I literally can set a pallet over six feet below my track level. So if I'm doing a retaining wall and I'm up on a bank, as long as I'm stable, I can reach the pallet down and I can set it down below me. So with a lot of unique features with this, one other thing I want to point out, just a switch or two in here, and that bucket comes into these spots here. You can see the rollers on the bucket. So rollers would come back into these spots here. Then I could switch it in the cab to cat controls, skid steer cat controls. So now on my right hand, I would run my bucket on my right hand with my loader. So I'd have my up and down and then my curl and uncurl. My left side then becomes my travel. So super unique, if you're used to running skid steer mode, again, you're gonna lock this bucket, the rollers back into those heavy beams there, and then you're literally running it like a skid steer. So, and again, a six and a half mile an hour traveling machine with a lot of capabilities. If you haven't checked out the Mechalac machine, I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, have, a, have a rep come out to you, or you can visit their facility. Our facility here is open and uh, anybody from LaRusso will come here and run you through the machine. So, super excited to have the Mechlac here at a training facility. And again, this is a great tool for taking the heart out of hardscaping. So this knob down here, right now the way it's hooked up with my toggle, that controls my sway on my side. Again, that'd be for digging next to a building or doing uh, swales, compound swales. If I switch it to this unit here, now this is to run my auxiliary hydraulics. So if I want to run a head out the end there, that's what this would do. This would run my auxiliary head. And when we have our multi-six head hooked up to this, which is again gonna grab your layer of uh, pallet, layer off a pallet to lay it, then you're running the auxiliaries here. And this does have two complete circuits out to the front. So I'm running one with the one side and one with the other. So just toggling here, that's how I'm gonna control my multi-six head for my paper laying equipment. So a couple unique things about this. I can side, I can dig next to myself. So if I'm running alongside a building, I can obviously dig with my regular standard bucket. I can do grading with compound grading. So if I want to get a slope, you see I can dig in with one side of my bucket, lower. On the one side, when I'm backing up, I can obviously cut in with my one edge if I want to dig in slopes. I'll just do it on the other side. You can see how that wood drops the one side lower, then I can cut in along like that. For coupling and uncoupling, just set your bucket down inside the cab. 
just rolls that cylinder back, I curl it up. Then I come right out of my implement. So I can just drop the bucket. It's that easy. Again, that angle unit helps me to get square. So that's a really sweet feature right there. Pick up my forks. You can see there, I just uncurl my roll there on my bucket. Inside, I just flip this switch. Locks my forks right in automatic. I also have an option with the switch here of switching my curl. So now this is uncurl. I switch it, rolling in with my bucket. This is curl. So I have those options real quick and easy. Again, that's going to curl, or I switch it, and then that's going to uncurl instead. So whatever you're more comfortable, like for myself, I'd obviously be more comfortable with this being my curl for my forks, getting into products, moving pallets around. Full pallets, you can move real easy. Bringing a pallet in here, more stable obviously. These pallets weigh, I think, 34, 100 pounds. So if I want to reach way out with a pallet, just put down my blade. So if I'm doing a patio paper job and I want to get a pallet out to my installers, I can really reach out quite a ways with my product to set it down to my installer. So a lot of advantages. This also can couple to our um, to one of our tube lifters on the front here and I can reach that out the same way. So that makes it real efficient that way. Pick up my blade again for travel. Again, you just want to keep your products as low as possible. So again, just having that travel speed is really a big asset with this machine. You get on a standard excavator and start running a machine like this, it really you realize how fast this machine really is.
So you got heat and AC. Your fan right here. Real nice, super comfortable in the cab. Again, whether you want heat or AC, throttle. Your quick connect that you see there when I'm disconnecting buckets and whatnot is here. So it's just a matter of pulling this safety down, pulling this back. That's gonna drop me back. I can get out of my bucket. Then automatically the rollers go back out. So that makes it super easy that way. I got other either um, CAT or John Deere controls here. So it depends on what I want to run for excavator controls. What you're hearing is an alarm. So the alarm now is what tells you that you're not coupled to a piece of equipment yet. So I'm going to get back into that. Roll back in. Come back into my bucket. Uncurl. And again, I put a little pressure there. It rolls back. I uncurl my bucket. Goes back in. My alarm shuts off. So now when I want to switch right now, right, I'm in excavator controls. So I'm running as an excavator. If I want to get into skid steer mode, I got to pull this back. I need to get my rollers there exact on those bumps, those tabs. And again, I'm just using my toggle. I'm using this switch here on the upper knuckle to get myself nice and parallel. I want that there. I also can adjust my foot pedal here as far as height when I switch the skid steer mode. So this is gonna adjust where I wanna be for my height on that. So I'll bring that into here, nice and tight. And I wanna go right down, basically flat on the ground in tight. This, this makes it so that when I'm digging, those rollers are taking the brawn of all the pressure. So now I'm in excavator mode. My loader is here. So I'm gonna pick up. I set down. I curl and uncurl here. So again, just like running a loader, I come up to dump in my truck and I can dump it. So now my drive is on my left hand. So now I'm running it just like cat controls, forward, reverse, and then I have my turn as I turn to the left or turn to the right. So again, if you're used to this and you're used to running a loader, this is really nice because then you're automatically right in skid steer mode again. So you can pick it up, you can do your grading, dropping it back, running it, you're grading here. And again, you might want to adjust this arm so that you're coming back to the right height all the time. And again, you can adjust your blade. You want your blade all the way up there too. get it adjusted right then obviously you don't want to touch it. So along with some of the other creature comforts, we got obviously a stereo here, Bluetooth, which makes it really convenient, along with a lot of other creature comforts. When it comes to opening up the window, it opens up really easy, really efficient, gets locked right up out of the way. Um, 
this is one of my favorite that thing is sweet right up nice and tall I'm not very tall but as you can see got a lot of room above my head and putting it back down locks in real nice so another nice feature I like about this machine is your screen so again if you're out in the hot sun all the time take this right back lock it right in that's gonna block it give it a little bit more shade so I'm not right in a blazing sun Again, they did a lot of homework on this machine they've been around for a lot of years English made machine well made so try it out so another nice thing I like is the mirrors so I've got a mirror up here on my front left corner post got another one here just in front of that so I can see everything down in front of me that I'm grading there I also have one on the front right corner again that looks back past my right side so I can make sure that I'm not gonna back in anything there again the more you get used to some of these uh, features that are on this machine it's just amazing what you can do and again I've, I've been out of the saddle a little bit so a little bit rusty but when I was running this machine um, every day what a difference you just find a lot of uses for it very unique like I said it's worth uh, looking into and at least trying it out because it really is a game changer it takes the place of your skid steer and your excavator so it is literally two machines in one. and this is the machine that's going to take the heart on a hard steer.